In this video, we'll be going over a merge k-sorted list. So you're given an array of k-linked lists. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. Merge all of the linked lists into one sorted linked list and return it. So in our first example, we have 1, 4, 5, that's our first list, and then 1, 3, 4, second list, and 2 and 6. And we're trying to merge it into a single list, so we get 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. Now let's, uh, let's first go over the dot process. Instead of starting out with k lists, let's first go over the case where we have to merge two lists. In the two lists, when we are trying to merge two lists, we implemented a two pointer approach. One pointer will be in list one, and one pointer will be in list two. Then in each of the iteration, we picked the smaller node out of the two lists, out of the two pointers, to be appended to our resulting list. Now if we expand this to k lists, if we expand this to k lists, we want to retrieve the node, the smallest node, out of k lists. This means we can create a min heap to keep track of our nodes. This will allow us to quickly retrieve the minimum node, the minimum node to be appended to our resulting string, to our to our resulting list. Now let's go over pseudocode. We'll first create a uh, min heap, which is a priority queue, um, pri priority queue in Java, to keep track of the heads of our linked list. We're going to iterate through the list, so we're going to denote it as list. This is the input list. If list is not equal to null, that means it's a valid valid list. So we're gonna add list to min heap. Now we now we're gonna start creating our uh, resulting list. So we're gonna create the following variables. First is the head is the sentinel head of the resulting list, and tail is the sentinel tail. Of the list uh, of the result list so it's going to be initially equal to the head so while min heap is not empty we're going to pull a node from min heap now we want to append node to our resulting list so we're going to set tail.next to node and set tail to node. Now if node.next is not equal to null, that means we still have elements inside the current list. So we're going to add node.next to the min heap. Then we can return head.next, which is the resulting head of resulting head of the list. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So for the time complexity is first we got to create our minimum heap, min heap. So it's, it's going to be k log k because this k list and then when we operate inside the heap with k elements, it's going to be log of k. Then plus of n log k because we want to process all of the nodes inside the heap to be appended to our resulting list. So it's going to be all of n log k. So where n is the total number of nodes and k is the number of lists so this one is creating the min heap min heap and all of n log k is processing all nodes in heap 
our space complexity is equal to O of k, where k is the number of lists, and that's our main heap. We do not need to account for a result list because we just modified the, the input. Now, uh, now let's start writing the code. We're going to create our min heap first. There's a priority queue of tree nodes or list nodes. Min heap is equal to, let's say, create min heap. We're going to create a method that generates the min heap for us. And then let's first write out the method. We want our nodes to be in ascending order in terms of their value. Then we're going to iterate the list, iterate through the list. If list is not equal to null, then we can add it to our heap. Then we can return the heap. Now we're going to create our two nodes to be our sentinel head and our sentinel tail. While min heap is not empty, that means we still have nodes to process. Uh, retrieve a node from the heap. Then we're going to append the node to our current running list. Then if node.next is not null, that means we still have nodes to process in the current in this list. So we're, we're going to add the next node to our min heap. Then we can return the resulting list, the head of the resulting list. Oh, this is the problem. We got set to head. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe if you, if you would like more content that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day and is there any questions or topics that you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.